That is going to, I believe, for the most part, wrap it up on the Camaro series. I got all the emblems put on. And I used all the old ones that came with it. All the bumper, all the grill. Um, hmm, man, not the best lighting. But I got, also got the, ah, what do you call them? The little window trim, the chromes back in. I got all the trim on the bottom. I got the interior vacuumed out, sunroof is on. There's that LT badge, which I thought was pretty cool. Ah, uh, what else? See, yeah, I got the Camaro and the 350 set on the fender. I got the back glass and the back chrome trim put in. Ooh, bumpers are all on, lights are back on. Ooh. There's another LT, I found it today, so it's being glued on right now. Ah, there's another look at that speaker cover. I got the windows cleaned up a little bit. And all the interior panels, they got some armor all. I like armor all. I mean, this stuff is pretty old. I believe it's original. So, it'll probably need a few more rounds of armor all. I uh, got the slide function on the seat to work again. With that one, I didn't film anything. It was pretty straightforward. Just fully tipped it upside down, sprayed it with a bunch of penetrating fluid, and then worked some marine grease inside it, and then I kind of stuck it back in here, bolted it on, and then pushed back and forth to slide the grease around, and that got it moving. But everything cleaned up on the inside really well. The rear seats cleaned up, not too many rips. That's a part of the reason why I wanted to keep this interior, even though it was maroon. I got all the back panels put in. And the headliner's up with, uh, what do you, that sunroof. Everything's been cleaned out on the inside. It's, uh, I think it's pretty much ready to go. So, the trunk, I just vacuumed that out, but not much to see there. And, hmm. I don't think there's anything else to really talk about. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Now it's just time to drive it and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.